Canadian author Anne Voskamp writes about a brilliant family of people in Africa called the Himba. When a Himba woman is expecting a child, she goes into the wilderness with a few other women, her sisters, and together they wait till they hear in their hearts the song of the coming child. Himba women wait as long as they need to. They wait under the stars. They wait until the dream of the child begins to beat like a singular rhythm under their hearts. Because these sisters know that every heart has its own unique beat, its own wild and blazing purpose. And when the Himba women attuned to the song of the coming child, they circle around and together they sing the miraculous refrain of the expected child. Then they return to the gathering of their people and teach this child's unique song to the waiting community. And when the anticipated child is finally born and taken into arms, the Himba family enfolds her with their presence and with their voices. They sing the child's own song as she takes her first breath of the earth. And later, when the child begins her schooling, the villagers gather and boldly chant the child's song. And then when the child passes through the initiation to adulthood, the Himba again gather around, encircle her, and sing, hopefully, and bravely. At the time of marriage, the young woman again hears the assuring notes of her very own song, carrying her forward to meet her hopes. But there is one more occasion upon which the Himbas sing. If at any time during her life the sister loses her way, falls short, forgets who she really is, or lets anything steal the dream of who she is meant to be, she is gently beckoned back to the center of the village. And there she stands, her people forming a safe, ringing circle around her, like her own galaxy of stars. Then the villagers sing, letting the beat of her drum, the rhythm of her own being, rouse her to wake to the dream of her soul again. They sing her own soul song to her because Himba sisters believe that change happens most when we remember who we are and whose we are. What a beautiful image of community. From the very beginning, the Himba are there building, creating a loving, supportive place for each child to belong. At birth, these children are invited into relationship with their own tribe that embodies each member's rhythm of being, showing the importance of remembering who and whose they are. And I love this about the Himba because it reminds me of one of my favorite days of the year. Uh, every year, Mikey's godfather, Anthony, calls on the day of his baptism. And he goes, Logan, I need you to do something for me. When Mikey gets in the bath tonight, I need you to shove his head underwater three times. <laughs> I want you to reinforce the rhythm of life our God gives to him. May he never forget. Jesus and his disciples are standing on a mountain in the backwaters of Galilee. Jesus begins to preach what is commonly known as the Great Commission. The sending out of the now eleven to make disciples of all nations. But as they are worshiping, some of them begin to doubt. They begin to not believe. So Jesus 
gathers them together and starts to beat the same drum he has been beating for three years. His words spoken to the same life-giving rhythm he has been teaching them for three years. Jesus leans in and tells them that the Father sent him with all authority in heaven and on earth. This means that I, Jesus, have the power to give this authority to you, and I will. I'm going to be with you. The Holy Spirit is going to come and reside in you. You're going to feel it. I'm not sending you out alone. I'm going to go with you out into the world to make disciples of all nations. And you will baptize them in the, in the author, with the authority I give you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Because we are now one. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and all of us. You will know who you are and whose you are. God will not let you forget. We are a people that belong to God. We gather together each week to remember who we are when we say our opening acclamation, the Nicene Creed, when we share together in communion. We gather together to recenter, to allow God to remind us of who and whose we are in relationship with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we have been given a life-giving rhythm to carry with us out into the world. The mission of making disciples of all people and baptizing them into relationship with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, in just a few minutes, we are going to be able to literally live into the Great Commission. After several weeks of discipleship, we are going to baptize Bryant and Francis Birch. And we are going to baptize them into the body of Christ, and we're going to seal them as Christ's own forever, a decision that brings them into full relationship with not just the Trinity, but the whole body of Christ. And I pray like us, may this always be a place they can return to when they lose their way, when they fall short or forget who they are. May we always remember the commitment we make to Bryant and Francis today when we agree to help raise them in the faith a place where their Christian tribe can gather around them and remind them of the rhythm of the grace of God. I'm excited for the body of Christ to grow today. I am more excited that Bryant and Francis are here with us at St. Andrews. I mean, this is what we do best. There's no better place for someone to start a new chapter of their faith journey than with a community that embodies the grace, love, and joy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Enveloping them in what it means to be Christian and to be in relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But friends, the work is not done with Bryant and Francis. The mission continues Yes, we can celebrate today that the kingdom of God is getting bigger. However, we still have work to do. God is not done making disciples, and God is not done drawing others into himself. Therefore, go out and make disciples of all people baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
Amen.